How are you guys doing today? This is Raul again with RMP Investments and we're here at one of our properties that we just picked up. We just closed escrow and it's actually a second day of rehab on this property. This particular property we got for $170,000 and we're putting in a little bit more than usual. We're going to put in about $30,000 into the rehab and the reason why is because this property has got some foundation issues that need to be addressed and once we get inside I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. But you definitely do not want to take on something like this if it's your first time doing a rehab. You want to make sure you take on something like this after you've got a couple of, of uh, projects done and you have some experience under your belt to be able to take on something like this. So if it's your first time, definitely stay away from it. Just want to make that clear. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see uh, see what we got in All here. Right, so so Follow far me. out here, what we've done is we've replaced the windows and also some uh, wood decor that was up there towards the towards the top of the. Uh, the, the property there. Um, we're also going to remove the wood decor up over here next to the garage and let's go ahead and take a look inside. I'll let you know what we did inside, okay? Follow me. Okay, so if you walk in through here, you'll notice this was the kitchen previously. Uh, we've already started doing some demo in here. They removed the uh, kitchen cabinets. And some of the linoleum floor that was in the living room. And this is exactly what I was talking about as far as the foundation issues. If you notice, We've got some cracks coming on the roof room here. And we also have some obvious signs up here in the, on the, the, the walls there. So those are really good indicators that there's an issue with the uh, with the foundation here. So we work our, our way over here, down the hall. And again, really quick, I just want to point out there's some, some cracks there as well. Alright, so right over here we have one bathroom. It's a four bed, two bath. Demo in here is already ready done as well. That shower tub there, we're gonna go ahead and keep it and use it. It's not it's not in a bad condition. It may look discolored, may look not too good, but once we reglaze it, it's gonna look like new. So definitely want to save as much as possible. Walk right over here. We have bedroom number one. This bedroom here had uh, the, we call it the popcorn ceiling. So we removed that. And also there was a, uh, this closet here, it's not your average size closet. It's a little bigger than usual, but it had a regular standard door. So what we did is we reframed it and we're gonna put the sliding uh, closet doors there as well. So it's a little touch that's gonna make it look nicer. We have bedroom number two over here. And this one as well, it also had the, the popcorn ceiling which we removed. They've already taken off the uh, linoleum floor that was previously here. And same thing here with this closet. This closet, it's a, it's a big closet, so what we did is we just, we're going to reframe it and we're going to put the, uh, the sliding uh, doors there as well. So, again, new windows. Right over here we have bedroom number three. This bedroom, same thing. They actually, actually, you know what, this is a really good uh, sample here of what I'm talking about. All this popcorn ceiling is going to be removed, taken off, so then at that point we retexture it and it's just going to look a lot nicer. Just give it more of a modern look and it's going to, it's going to look really nice. Alright, so this is the second 
bathroom right over here. If you notice, this also, I mean, it's, all this is going to be basically brand new. We're going to put a new drywall down there. And this was, it was a, if you look at the previous and the before pictures, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about as far as very outdated. We definitely want to give it a new look in here, so. That, that'll be a new, new bathroom. If we walk right over here, we have bed, bedroom number four. And in here, again, if you notice, we haven't gone this far, but it also has that popcorn ceiling there. We generally take it off on every project that we get. For us, it's just, it looks outdated. Not to mention that a lot of this uh, material has asbestos, so we don't want to deal with anything like that. Make sure you have someone that's licensed and contracted to be able to do something like that and remove that. So uh, we're, gonna, we're taking that off. Once we're done, we'll retexture it, and it's going to look really nice. This is what I'm talking about as far as the closets. Uh, this closet was already here, the size, so this is exactly what we're going to do with the other closets, uh, the other bedrooms, excuse me, and it'll, it'll, it'll look a lot nicer, much bigger closet. So this is the, the fourth bedroom. All right, let's go ahead and take a look outside in the backyard. I want to show you guys what we're doing so far as far as repairing the, uh, the foundation, so follow me. Okay, so here we are in the backyard, and so far you can see that they've already started working on the uh, the foundation there. You can see they're getting the uh, filling in the, the windows. So it's definitely a, a, a big project, and once again, you don't want to take on something like this if it's your very first flip. You want to make sure you've uh, done quite a few so that you know exactly how to take on something like this. All right, so thank you so much for viewing. Please stay tuned and stick with us so you can see the remaining process of this, uh, this project and you can take a look and see how this is going on.